Hello, welcome back to my shop. In this week's video, we're going to make a vase, much like this one, out of Norfolk Island pine. It is also known as monkey puzzle wood. And as you can see, it is characterized by these lovely knots that go all around. I will also be using this hefty tool, the Sorby Ultima hollowing system, in order to hollow out this vase. It will be the first time I'll be using the Sorby Ultima system to hollow anything out, so stay tuned at the end, I'm going to have some impressions and some tips for you about using this tool. So sit back and enjoy the turning. Everything, everything, everything I touch will break And every day, every day, every day you give and I take I'm living the best that I can But fate never followed my plans I'm holding you back so I want you to pack up and grow But your back has been feeling exhausted from all of the weight I'll carry this burden myself Just put me up high on a shelf Think of me fondly but please move beyond me and
once again, here is the finished product, our vase, all send it down to 600, oil down with boiled linseed oil, hollowed out completely. My impressions from working with this tool today was that mostly, much like the ring tool, let's see if I can grab it, much like this large ring tool which I've used on my Dejambe video, uh, I can tell you that the notion of working with this tool is pretty much uh, you're trying to get a catch and control it. Once the ring cutter cuts into the wood, it will try to pull in. Luckily, in this system, we have this protective ring that actually prevents the cutter from digging in too much, so you only take out the, the amount of wood that you have decided on. Although, every time that it, it touches wood, you will feel this pull, this thing that feels more like a catch. And the idea is to control that catch and to make your passes along the inside of the tool in a manner that will not create a chatter in the tool and your cut will be smooth. My final thought about this uh, tool is that definitely for this type of project it is a little bit too much, it's too large, uh, it is too aggressive, uh, but I would definitely use this one for uh, larger jobs, if I'm going to make uh, large holoforms or I want to make a large sphere which I'll want to hollow out, then definitely I would use this tool, it was a uh, quite interesting feel to it. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I hope to see you back in my shop really soon.